In the paintings, drawings, prints, and public art of John Quick to see Smith, her Native American ancestry reveals images of earth, animals, and nature. John creates a cultural bridge to engage people with her concern for human rights. John was born at the St. Ignatius Mission on the Confederated Salish and Kootenai Reservation in Montana. She is a member of the Flathead Nation. Today she lives with her husband in a beautifully restored adobe home with a large studio for her prolific work. My father was a horse trader and it was in, it was 1940. Um, life was very, very difficult for Indian people at that time. So early on I learned responsibility, um, that I had to grow up uh, fairly quickly and learn how to survive. Growing up with my father and the racism that he faced as a child, we were told to leave. We don't serve Indians here, please leave. My father's influence and my tribe's influence on my worldviews about sustainability play a very important role in my work. John pursued her education while raising her family. She got her BFA from Framingham State College and her master's from the University of New Mexico. They had a big, in those days, a big Native American Studies department, which was my driving interest, was I was going to use my art, uh, be a teacher, because I didn't think I could make a living as an artist. John taught and served on the board of Indian High School in Albuquerque. She also began to show her work, achieving early success at galleries in Albuquerque, Santa Fe, and New York. I was able to make a living as an artist and could travel and lecture at universities. That was another piece of my education, was traveling to all these conferences with Amalia Mesa Baines and Faith Ringgold and Judy Chicago and Lucy Lepard and all of these movers and shakers. Uh, in, in, in that whole community. John also draws inspiration from frequent visits home to the Salish Kootenai Reservation in Montana and from spiritual ceremonies she attends on other reservations. You're taking in the goodness for yourself. You're, you're taking in the, in the communal goodness from everyone there. Everything has a life is, the, is how Indian people believe and you can never keep everything forever. John's respect for life, nature, and justice resonates throughout her work and touches all who experience her vision. Her work is in important museum collections around the world. She was a judge for the Oklahoma City Bombing Memorial, received numerous prestigious awards, and will be the featured artist in the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum's Living Artists of Distinction exhibition in 2012. John also received a Joan Mitchell Foundation Fellowship to archive her work. Really quite something coming from the background that I did to this place, this point in my career where there is some recognition. I think we all need a little nudge now and then. And that's what these are, they're, they're big nudges really.